What's going on guys, Kro here, and oh my god, I missed this game so, so much. Uh, yes, this is Crisis 2, finally I got it to work. Uh, I played around with the internet for a bit, uh, I read up on some forums, and I finally got it fixed. Crisis 2 has given me constant errors in, in terms of internet, and this is the first game ever going back on Crisis 2. This is actually the only game that I played. Um, today of Crisis 2. I got it like, I don't know, maybe five minutes ago. So I decided to share it with you guys uh, simply because it's my first game going back. I haven't touched this game since God knows how long. Maybe like two months even because of the stupid internet problems. And I I fell in love with it again. I mean, it's an awesome, awesome game. Uh, I act like a noob in this game because I simply, I just forgot what to do. I'm like turning on the shield and invisibility like at the same time. Uh, so I'm just getting, you know, accustomed to the uh, to the controls again, and uh, I'm just going back into the zone. But uh, this is nothing amazing. The score is, you know, kind of low. But uh, I joined in late. Uh, I still think it's a pretty it's a pretty decent game for, especially for first time coming back on. I didn't know what to expect. Maybe people exploited something that I have no idea, you know, that I have no idea could be exploited. I don't know. So I was kind of fresh and I got raped over here. Uh, <laughs> kind of funny. But uh, this is a team deathmatch, team instant action on Pure 17. I'm gonna be using, well, I am using the MK60, uh, the uh, LMG, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. And also, I'm using the Hammer uh, secondary. It's kind of like the Desert Eagle of this game. Um, I'm still blown away by the music in this game. I mean, it's pretty freaking amazing, especially when the uh, loading screen is on. If anybody is a fan of this game, uh, pretty much everybody would agree. But. Uh, I don't want to talk about, well, I guess I do want to talk about uh, certain Modern Warfare 3 stuff. Um, it's going to be in the backdrop of this Crisis 2 gameplay. I mean, I don't have a lot of time uh, because this is a pretty short video. But uh, the perk list that went on Kotaku, I think, uh, was kind of, I think it was fake. I think it was proven by, well, it was basically confirmed by Robert Bowling that it was a fake. Uh, they had some pretty cool ideas uh, in terms of the perk system. Uh, but uh, I think in the end it turned out to be fake. So guys, I'm telling you, just wait for Robert Bowling to confirm. Don't get too excited. Um, and here comes the big ass Vuvuzela. I mean, I swear to God, guys, listen to the orbital airstrike. Um, like and compare it to a Vuvuzela. It it exactly sounds exactly like a fucking Vuvuzela. Um, I, I'm telling you. And I'm not even gonna say anything about the kids outside my window. You guys said you can't hear it. Okay, that's fine enough. They are fucking screaming right now as I'm doing this commentary. If, that, if my mic picks it up, I'm not... Fuck that. I don't even care anymore. So if you guys enjoy Crisis 2 and you would like to see more, uh, some non-COD gameplays, give this video a thumbs up. You know, the more thumbs up, the better. And over here, I just realized that I'm not um, using a Retriever. The Dog Tag Retriever. Um, I kind of thought I was rocking it on this class because it kind of made sense since it's a long-range weapon. But I think I was using Aim Enhance, which is like steady aim. Uh, first perk, I'm pretty sure, was Armor Enhance, which I have no clue. I think it was just like an experimental class. Uh, second, I'm, I think it's Blind Spot, pretty much my old two, you know, second perk. Uh, Pure 17 is one of my all-time favorite maps in this game. Um, it's 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 pretty. It's not that big, but it, there's a lot of places that you can snipe people. I don't know what people talk about when when they say that. You know, there are certain people, I said people like 15 times, God, um, that they camp, that there are campers in this game. I, I, I just don't see it. I simply don't see it. And the hammer shoots very, very slow. I think the gameplay is coming to a close pretty soon, though. I don't want to, like, run out of time. But I will talk about Modern Warfare 3, like, my road to Modern Warfare 3 um, in Crisis 2 videos or something like that. Because I'm really excited for that game. Um, and I'm going to let you guys know basically what I find out or... or something you know if, if something's new if they will release some information that's confirmed i will definitely let you guys know because not a lot of people read uh stuff like that and then i took my sweet ass time over here to hold the orbital airstrike and i basically get uh i get owned and i'm telling you yet again listen to the fucking vuvuzel background um uh, wow and i actually got owned by the grendel right there i should have left the kill cam though because when you get a headshot on somebody and they watch the kill cam you can see like the slow motion bullet going inside the uh, dome and yes, you can swim in this game, which is very helpful, uh, especially on this map, because you can, you know, flank people better and stuff like that. Uh, the MK60 is a definitely 
a very you know useful weapon for long range engagement but you just gotta know to put up the armor because if you don't well you're gonna get your head taken off by a sniper or something like that uh, I will work on the sniper gameplay remember guys this was my first game ever coming back on crisis 2 in forever and that's why I'm looking at right now big ass vuvuzela um, but either way, I really hope you guys enjoy uh, this type of gameplay. Final score is 9-3, and three. nothing, you know, amazing, but I did get into the top 3 of this team. Um, and I don't know, hope you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next time.